Welcome back again to some Stalker Misery action. So continuing onwards. So it turns out, from what I can tell, that the um, Bloodsuckers needed to be eliminated before you could actually um, get, get the little uh, fast travel notification. So there we go, did that. Got teleported straight to the Skadovsk. Uh, we've just offloaded some stuff as well. And of course, it is daytime, so before we go to sleep... Yeah, let's just see what this guy has got to say, actually. Does he have anything else? Okay. No, привет. So, nothing new. Alright, well, oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, let's just go back this way in that case. Yeah, let's get some sleep. Yeah, those bloodsuckers were a real pain in the ass, actually. It took a couple of tries, which I didn't record. Okay, nice little stutter there. Okay. And yeah, got a bit um, hurt in the process, but what the hell, nothing too major, I guess. So. Okay, of course. Oh, inter interesting how my stamina goes down after sleeping, but anyway. Yeah, well, at least we got a bit of food. Wait a minute, is that a blowout that's happening? Actually, how much did we... Actually, we did eat a bit, not, not as much as I'd kind of hoped for, but still. Eh, yeah, bloodsucker meat. Damn, no cooking equipment for it, though. Well, is that a kick in the pants? Bloodsucker meat. Hmm, how much does this even provide? 6.46. Oh, what do you know? It is a blowout. 6.38. Eh, yeah, well, that would just keep it as it is. I think we should be alright. So we've still got an army med kit, and yeah, screw it, just let my health go. I think it's going slowly up. No, well, I don't see it doing anything. Right. And of course, got a nice little blowout as well. So more artifacts to be found. Sounds good to me. Well, the problem is, is that we're not actually hunting around for artifacts. We're actually doing some very uh, specific things. So in particular, we'll be. Uh, Hopefully, we'll be getting the artifacts that's on top of the uh, Okapan Anomaly. There's like a special one on top of the tree. There's some stuff on the uh, gas station roof there. And there's also the uh, little side event at the Boiler Anomaly. And of course, they're going to be at uh, opposite sides of the map. Oh, actually, that's right. There's also the stash at the Burning Farmstead. And of course, the uh, helicopter mission, which is part of the uh, main quest, actually. And I believe everything else has been, uh, everything else has been uh, investigated. Pretty much, so there you go. God damn, it's have certainly gone pretty crazy at the moment, that's for sure. And now I really wish I brought more medkits actually. Whoops. Because <laughs> yeah, well. I yeah, don't think that's actually healing me up at all. Yeah, that's well, let's see. Oh, this bloody blowout's happening, sounds pretty severe actually. Well, might as well get some supplies in. So how much will we charge? Jesus Christ. Indeed, okay. Great, alright, well... Let's see, how much does just a regular cost? Great, just a thousand. No, well, compared to 1,700. Ah, uh, fuck it. I guess we'll just have to use that then. Oops. There we go. So I just have to do. Just have to do. Bam. Okay, that was a bit of a pause there, to say the least. But there we go. Now I suppose by the time the blowout passes, actually, that is a blowout, is it? It sounds very severe, actually, for blowout. Let's have a look. Um, And perfect, it has passed, and I think I actually had some yelling, although that might have been over the radio, actually. 
Indeed. Well, whatever. In the case, let us continue onwards. Oh, shit. Damn it. Wait a minute. 21. Yeah, we should be alright, but... Huh. Now that does not look alright. Damn it. And of course I can't sleep now because I've got radiation sickness. Great. Just great. There's probably some guys trying to shoot me through the wall or something. <laughs> okay, yep. Didn't leave anything back there. Oh, you know, I can't actually sleep again. Oh, okay, it just went away there. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I selected 20 hours before. Unless if maybe the blowout is still going, maybe. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a bit darker than that, though. Huh. Why is this guy facing the, the other direction there? Oh, okay, so he's not even going to turn around, eh? Very rude indeed. Yeah, it's whatever. Let's see. And now apparently we're good to go. Not getting a radiation thing yet at the bottom right, so. <laughs> Not too shabby. Alright, so let's see. Blah blah blah. So big pine, fueling station. And I suppose over to the old barge to do that. Walk away back. We'll probably have to rest up again before we go back to the um, boiler anomaly. And I don't know if we can make it all the way to the Iron Frost Anomaly and uh, beyond before daylight breaks. I'm not actually sure if this will teleport me to the bridge in that case or whether it'll actually teleport me to um, Yanov or not. Yeah, finding out at some point, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. Huh. Wait a minute. Wow, okay. I guess it was a bit bright out because of the blowout still. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was a bit unexpected to say the least. And of course now I'm going to be hostile to duty, or rather they're actually going to be hostile to me. I don't really have too much against them, but whatever. So I'll probably uh, shoot me uh, a couple of times as well as bloody mercenaries on and all that, but uh, what the hell, we'll try to deal with that as best as we can. So, let's save. Ah, oh, of course I forgot, about the, forgot to mention the stash at the uh, burnt farmstead, or whatever the hell it's called. Alright, well, what I would save. Okay, there we go. Huh. Ah, oh, that's right, let's start the stash at this pipeline. God knows where the hell that is, actually. I do remember spending a good amount of time trying to find the bloody thing, but nope. Not able to find anything at all. Just uh oh right. <laughs> Just freaking dandy. Let's see. Yeah, night vision actually isn't too bad. Too bad it's such a massive drain on the freaking batteries. Ah yeah, well, things look alright for the time being. There you have it, so we'll just continue on our little adventure. Oops, try to point the right direction as well, actually. I mean, we'll probably get ambushed at least once or twice on the way to the uh, Oak Pine Anomaly. I mean, especially around there, there's plenty of mutants which like to congregate there for some reason. Don't really know why, actually. But, wait a minute. Uh huh, yep, there is something here. Okay, not quite an ambush, but. Uh, there we go. Oh, shit. And yeah, something else got me from behind. Well, there you go, just as well that I saved. Okay, I'll call that an ambush, just for the hell of it. <laughs> God damn, off to a good start. <laughs> Indeed. And, well, let's try that again. We should be facing the right direction by default. Yep. So basically, yeah, we'll just follow this in mostly a straight line, maybe uh, looking around from, oh, anyway, from time to time. Let's see what happens. Wait a minute, did I investigate this? Oh, no, that's actually, no, that's a pipeline, so I'm pretty sure I investigated that at some point. So whatever, let's just go over this direction. Probably run into the same wild boars again, and hopefully this time I'll be able to take them out. Maybe. So 
where is this even taking me? Oh, okay, past the ship, of course. And what do you know? Not even getting attacked yet. It's a bloody miracle. Just gotta love how the AI gets reset between loads. I kind of wish that wasn't the case, but... I don't know why the devs did that, actually. I mean, same with the weather. The weather... Um, doesn't get saved either, so... It can be pretty much anything whenever you reload the game. Very strange design decisions. If I do say so. I mean, it's still better than having to use freaking checkpoints, like as if we're still playing on the PlayStation 1, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's still very strange how it's only certain things are saved, though. Yeah, well, well, in any case, just a hop, skip, and jump away, and yeah, we are carrying a bit much weight, actually, which I suppose explains why the stamina is going down that much, although I do have the Camelback equipped, for God's sake. It shouldn't be that bad, but I suppose being overweight as well is not, probably not going to help too much. Shit. Ah, down you go. And where's that flesh? Oh no, there's another kitty. Now whatever, let's just loot this. Oh, pseudo dog. Wait a minute. I thought they were meant to cast illusions or something. Well, maybe that that was a side dog. What the hell does a pseudo dog do that makes it different from the regular dog then? Huh. Shit, I have to be careful probably around this swampy area. Damn it. Okay, well, we should hopefully be alright now. Shit, and of course, just as I say that. Oh, come on, man. And someone was shooting at me as well, of course. <laughs> oh, God. Nice little combined ambush there. <laughs> ah, dear, mate. That's well, let's try that, that again, shall we? <coughs> yes. Uh, and of course, in a bit of a disadvantageous position on the low ground as well. Well, probably have to save a bit more often in that case. Actually, I could just try to take a bit more of a roundabout route, actually. Yeah, fuck it, let's just do that, actually. Pretty sure it's slightly safer going around this way through the village. Isumrods, no, yeah. I believe that's how you meant to say it. And probably shouldn't be sprinting, actually. Whoops. Hmm. Actually, is that it? Oh! Oh. Damn it, there's freaking ambient noises. Of course, I bet you I'll say that, and then something will just claw me from behind, probably. Well, okay, I managed to get through that swampy bit, so hopefully we should be alright now. Just get in the right direction, of course. There. The oh, god damn it. Fuck. <laughs> god damn it. Ah, pitch go muttering. God damn it. Right from behind, even. How the hell did I not see them? Must have been behind the rock or something. Ah, oh, god damn, wild boars everywhere. Funny, dying to something that's so mundane. I mean, granted they're like mutated boars, but really, they look like... Just mostly like regular boars, really, just maybe a little bit more... Grizzled. Because they're mutated. <laughs> uh, funny, though, to die to something so mundane like that, but... Well, well that's the thing, though, they are kind of... Uh, Dangerous in real life, I suppose, so... Mutate them, and uh, yeah, of course, it's going to magically make them better as well. <laughs> Great. Yeah, well, let's see if we can actually locate them with it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right, actually, I did try to explore that before. Yeah, well, let's see if we can get a bit of a vantage point. Okay, I think that's just ambient noise, what we're hearing there. Just try to follow this and see if I can spot anything. Ah, oh, this is actually going to horribly expose me to weapons fire as well, now that I think of it. Whoops. Ah, oh, yes, there's a bad farmstead. Well, I don't see anything, so... Oh, good, I didn't even take damage from that. Not bad. And yeah, well, let's just try this again then, shall we? Should 
trade of minutes, I believe there are openings here. Somewhere. To IF to get um Deanne to get those other artifacts. Actually, wait a minute. What artifacts does that guy want? Meat Chunk and Collarbock. Both of which actually did have a different points, but I sold as soon as I got them actually because I didn't think I'd need them later on. And what do you know, they turned out to be essential for some quest, possibly even the main quest actually. Which is just frigging dandy. Ah oh, well. Still. Don't see anything. Hopefully we should be alright. Wait a minute. What's that in the distance? Oh, just zombies. Funny that you get to that stage actually, you can just say, oh, just zombies actually. But anyway, funny enough, they're not the most deadly of creatures that are out there, that's for sure. Well, just going forward a bit more actually before I decide to save. Of course, I'm going to say they'll probably get ambushed by something, but I will. I think we should be alright. So now I have to watch out for duty as well as goddamn mercenaries and the bandits as well. So, yeah, pissing off a few groups to say the least. Well, just one really, just the duty guys. What if I can regain neutrality with them? I don't know. I think you can raise your overall relations by completing the the um, Vaso quest or Vano quest, whatever his name is, with, without killing the bandits. And uh, technically, I shouldn't even actually know that because uh, I've only happened to check it up on the forum. It was actually, I was actually looking something else up, but what you know, I actually happened to find that out as well. So there you go. One one reason not to kill the bandits off, I suppose in response to Vano's uh, debt. Although I think they'll probably get cured off anyway at some point. In fact, they might actually all be dead because they... Oh, damn it. Fucking... Actually, we should be alright to eat the mutated stuff then. <coughs> oh, that sounded juicy. Alright, uh, yeah, they actually might all be dead because... Uh, I well, many of them anyway, because I remember the last time I visited the little hideout, there was, uh, I think, just one guy left there, actually. Although it's possible that they might, you know, might have been off travelling somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if that is meant to be their home base, then uh, they're going to be completely screwed when daylight hits, because there's basically... What was that? Oop, fuck. So were they shooting from over there or damn it? Kinda of hard to tell really. Fuck's sake. Just not getting close to this thing. Um Yeah, because yeah, there's only like one guy left actually. But yeah, as for that place, yeah, there's basically no protection against the daylight, or very little protection against the daylight. Yes, very, very little protection against the daylight. Um, in that little little place they're occupying, whatever it was called, the checkpoint. Huh. Shit. I think it's coming from over here, actually. Shit, where is it? So yeah, maybe they do go somewhere else. Well, in any case, there's the oak pine thingy majingi right there, and... <sighs> Fuck's sake. I've still got no idea where the hell even shooting me from. From. I don't see any muzzle flashes. I can definitely hear gunshots, but from where? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, here we go. Yep, I see it. So, yeah, whatever. Oh shit, I probably should not have broken cover like that. Oh, wait a minute. Was this the guy that was shooting at me? Well, he's dead in either case, I think. Here we go, we'll just get this out. I think there might be one more, maybe. Oh, come on, don't tell me I can't even find him to loot him. <laughs> Fuck's sake. God 
Damn, wasting school damage. Ah, here we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, and I think he just fell. Perfect. Now then, answer this guy. Let's see. Yeah, not too shabby, I suppose. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I guess there are more of them out there. <laughs> God damn, I did not hear that at all, actually. Until it blew up, of course, but I didn't hear anything landing near me. Damn it, and I was on the move, move as well, and they s managed to get me pretty much dead on. So I think those were those were actually bandits. Quite a few of them, actually. Well, thank God I saved here in that case. Ah, God damn it. Yeah, well. Try to be on the lookout and see if I can take them out again. Maybe try not to break cover so readily, actually. Damn, it's just like, well, they were shooting me for like half a minute before I even spotted them, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, God. God just, you gotta love playing in dark mode. And really, it seems that to everybody... Actually, no, I think those were the zombies that I spotted before. Yeah, you gotta love how, how everybody um, essentially has freaking night vision, of course, as well. And of course, they don't have to worry about battery drain or anything like that. Indeed. Anyway, let's uh, see. No, I don't see anything. Great. You know, I'm kind of advertising my position with a flashlight, but I don't think that really makes that much of a difference, really. I think they're gonna spot you regardless. Maybe it'll take them a, an extra second or so, but yeah. I can't really see anything anyway. Wait a minute. Oh no, never mind, that's uh, fucking railing that I'm seeing there. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Well, at least the flashlight doesn't drain any UPD, thank god. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, stop stuttering. Yep, I... Actually, as those bandits, I don't think they're even using lights or anything like that. Or lamps or anything like that, so... Yeah, they're pretty much... We're acting like they had night vision. Great, so I think this is actually exactly where I was before, so if I just take cover behind this rock... There we go, okay. Now let's see, now let's see if we can... locate these guys. So I think they were from this direction, from somewhere... On the road, but uh, oh fuck! Where the hell was that? Wait a minute! Kind of hard to tell, but I think it w yeah it, it was from that direction actually. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's really worth avoiding them. So okay, Let's see if I can use this tree as cover. There we go, fancy cover and all that. Damn it, where are they? Are they actually even shooting at me or are they shooting at some mutants or something? I don't hear any shots. But, oh, fuck. Shit. Okay, yeah, definitely some shots bloody rebounding off me, that's for sure. Barely even. Ugh, even with the fucking night vision, I can barely see them. Fuck's sake. So I need fucking means to come out of the woodwork as well. Wait a minute. Oh, actually, there we go. That kind of is helping out a bit, I suppose. Without having to use night vision. What the hell is that little blinking white thing there? Actually, is that the guy's body? Well, in either case, I should try to loot it. I just have to watch out for his pals that are still there, probably. Let me guess, that's a gas station, isn't it? Yep, sure is. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that blinking is. I don't know what happened to the other guys, actually. Like they just uh, sauntered off or something. Oh, no, wait a minute, that's a dead mutant, I think. Well. Fuck it, let's just go over to the... Well, actually, wait a minute. The amount of dead mutants that are there. Wait a minute, is that? Oh. Yep. 
Still one there. Okay, fuck it. We might as well try to get some loot from them, I suppose. Before their bodies decay. Hmm. Okay, well, at least this stuff is valuable somewhat. I suppose. Yeah, that's why I guess we might as well investigate the gas station in that case, seeing as I'm basically right here. There's still one kitty around here. Damn it, I guess there was more mutants actually. We should turn the light on. Ah, here we go. So, two of them. Another pseudo dog with two tails for some reason. I'm not really sure. Well, then again, it is mutated, although I'm pretty sure the model itself doesn't actually have two tails. And bandits, of course. What else would there be? I'm pretty sure there was at least one more that I saw. Uh, maybe not. Well... Okay then, I guess the mutants did the uh, work for me. <laughs> yeah, not that bad. Okay, we should hopefully be alright, so we'll just bring out the good old flashlight out then. And now we have to get up to the roof and get some goodies from there apparently, so I think we'll save. So there must have been a ladder or something that I missed in that case. I can't believe I didn't actually get that the first time around, but... Uh, well, there you go. Stranger... Okay, stranger things have happened, I suppose. I'm pretty sure I've... Yeah, I've investigated the interior. There's basically nothing here. Of course, the stash should have to be on the roof. And uh, let's see, how the hell do I even get to that? Hmm. Might have to do a bit of platforming, maybe. Actually, wait a minute. Is there something up here, I wonder? Shit, let me guess, this is probably... Actually, I don't think it is going to be radiating me, because that thing is, uh... Grey. Yeah, let's see, I don't think I can jump from there. Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a tricky one. There must be something I'm missing. Huh. Ah, fucking fences. Fences all over the place. And, of course, radiation as well is going to be screwing me over. Oh, wait a minute, is it draining my health, actually? I think it is. I think we'll be just smoke a couple of cigarettes in. <coughs> Something I probably should have done a bit earlier, actually. I mean, God knows I've got uh, no shortage of them, so... They're probably not that heavily irradiated. Oops, I shouldn't get too close to that, though. Now, for fuck's sake, of course I have to... Oop, fuck. Oh, fucking kitty, really? Well, thank God I saved in that case. Ah, oh, god damn it. <clears throat> so the quest continues. Okay, might as well just smoke a bloody cigarette now, actually. Yeah, let's see, that's pretty potent. That's not so potent. I think something like that will probably be more appropriate. Probably just suffering from, from the very low... Radiation levels, and also bloody kitty cat. It's really annoying how those things are silent, but at the very least they're not stealthed as well, actually. That'd just be ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I like, say, the bloodsuckers, which basically make no fucking sound, which is just great. And they don't even make splashes in the water, it seems. Indeed. So somehow I need to get to the roof there. Which how? And I have to watch out for silent mutants creeping up on me. Well, we'll jump over here. And let's see, okay, this bit is fenced off, so... If there's anything going to come at me, it's probably going to be... Wait a minute. Oh, no, never mind, that's just a... piece of terrain or something else. Well, if anything's going to come at me, it'll be through here. Which doesn't seem to be happening. And I'm not seeing any obvious ways to get to the roof. Hmm. This just leads... Ah, okay, this is just a trench thing, by the looks of things. Yeah, that just leads into the um, claw nominee, whatever the hell it's called. Probably, mate. Hmm. What the hell, let's just smoke another cigarette. Feeling lucky. Huh. Must 
be some obvious way that I'm missing here, but what say? Ah, here we go. Ah, that's where you are. So, yep, he's gonna path his way towards me slowly but surely. And I should be ready for him. Depending on which way he comes, actually. Those bastards can be pretty fast, actually. No, wait a minute, he's not pathing. He's... Yeah. Okay, no, yeah, that's it. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can path. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. Path all the way here. Or over there, actually. Shit, I don't know which direction he's going to come from. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, that's it. You bloody whinge in my mind. Yeah, that's... Oh, for fuck's sake, nothing could look useful. Well, that was a fucking bust. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the cat killing me in that case. Actually, I think I have lost a bit of health from being irradiated. God damn it. <coughs> okay. So maybe there's uh, somewhere from the inside? Maybe like a ladder inside or something? Catch? Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, that's just a fucking light. How the hell do I get up there? Why am I swearing so much? Okay. Hmm. Radiation. Okay, nothing running towards me. Well, there we go. At least that cigarette's cured the last of my radiation. Apparently this stuff is not having much of an effect. I'm not seeing any ladders or anything like that, though. Huh. Unless if I'm... Well, it didn't look like I... It did not look like I could, I could make that jump, actually, but... Uh, I might be able to jump from that other roof... Or not the roof, actually, but from that tank to the roof, maybe? Hmm. Didn't look like a possible jump, but... Uh, well, what the hell. I'm a special agent, after all. I can do anything, and apparently this does actually radiate me. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Yes, I have to. I have to jump on the fence, don't I? Shit, and I injured myself. Whoops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to jump on the fence there. Yeah, right, well, I think we can jump on the fence. Let's see. Ah, I'll be damned. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, oh, for fuck's sake! Just fucking mess All right, I'm better smoke another fucking cigarette. Man, this game really does promote bad habits, it seems. Could do with another medkit, actually. Yeah, it's... Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, you bitch. Go fucking nuts at it all. Come on. Fuck's sake. There we go. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, actually. Well, in any case, we made it. My god. And this fucking thing's randomly radiated as well. Uh, so what do I do now? Do I keep following the fence and then go up there, maybe? Or... Something else. That's the only thing I can think of, actually. So let's just try to do... To do that. Absorb some radiation as well. Why not? More dead mutants. Actually, no, I think those are the same ones, actually. And... Yeah, I think that'll do it, actually. So... So hope, hopefully this is what's actually uh, being intended. Wow. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have actually, I definitely would not have thought to try this beforehand, that's for sure. Because usually you would think that you wouldn't be able to go on fences like this. We'll talk about tricky uh, balance and all that. Uh, damn it, I still don't see anything obvious to get up on though, that's the problem. Well, let's just go here anyway. Let's see. Okay, well. Oh, fuck me. Well, I didn't... I tried to leap on it, but I couldn't, though, so... I suppose maybe you meant to follow the other fence in the other direction, although I don't think it actually went anywhere useful. Let's see. No, I don't think it does go anywhere useful, actually. Damn it. Well, thank God you can't injure yourself by... slamming your head into various things. Fuck's sake, wait a minute. Unless... Actually, no. 
don't think you can really get on this fence anyway. So that fence here yeah, doesn't really lead anywhere useful. Uh, maybe I actually was meant to go that way along the fence. I just screwed up the jump, maybe. Actually, as for this fence, well, maybe I could jump from that to something else, but that doesn't... Yeah, there's no way I can really get on top of it, though. That's the problem. Damn it. Of course, time is... going by as well. For fuck's sake. Okay, well, let's try this again, then. Ah, oh, you bitch, go fucking nuts. God damn it, why did they make it this hard? I mean, I'm assuming this is the way to do it. I don't see any other possible way up there. Yes, platforming in first person is usually not a good thing to have at all. Simply because it's kind of hard to gauge exactly where you are. I mean, of course, you know, you've got the camera in first person indicating where you are, but it doesn't exactly indicate how you go where you're going to land. Damn it, or exactly where your feet are, basically, so... I probably should actually save before I perform that jump as well, now that I think of it. So I won't reload that save, other save just yet, we'll just uh, go here. And then, uh, let's see, yeah, let's... Yeah, actually, I don't think I can make that jump if I jump like that, so I think I just have to follow the uh, fence in that case. So I don't know, the path thing seems to be a bit strange, or the collision detection seems to be a bit strange actually on this fence as well, I don't quite seem to be moving on a straight line on it actually, so like that for example, so of course it just makes things even trickier. And so there we go, we made it yet again, there we go. Jesus. Stuff really here better be uh, top notch, and thank God I actually saved there. Yes, proceed. <laughs> oh God damn! I definitely would not have done this if I, I didn't actually know that there was going to be something on the roof, though, because I would probably would have just assumed that there wasn't a way up there. But uh, oh, there you go. Apparently, there's a weapon and. <sighs> So we're turning off the lights there. A weapon and a fire artifact of some description, so sounds good to me. Just get up here. Oh my god. No, that wasn't fucking hard at all at all. And there's a stash. <coughs> Sorry, there's a stash. Is there anything else up here actually? Don't think I can get any way up here. Whatever, let's just have a look at the stash actually before we jump the gun. Ah, okay, so AKM and what is this? A fireball. Thermal acid, 187%. Everything else goes pretty down though. They heap helps with bleeding though, so not too shabby, so that's a fireball. <coughs> hmm. Ah, of course. Huh. And of course, it's actually a pretty standard artifact. What about this thing? AKM. Blah, blah, blah. So basically, it's pretty shit compared to what we've already got. Grenade launcher, though. Oh, it doesn't even have any fracking attachments. Damn it. What the hell? Alun's journal page. Congratulations, Stalker. Huh. Okay, then. Well. Here we go. <laughs> uh, and I've taken radioactive. Radioactivity as well, which is just fucking dandy. But at least we did manage to get that. Got the fireball artifact. We apparently didn't need the fancy container for it, actually, so... Oh, fuck, this thing's actually radiating me. Fuck, 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 I completely forgot about that. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> and we can actually use it. Whoopsie long. And, what do you know, it actually puts it in automatically, so... Huh. Okay, 187%. Thermal acid, but if I put it in here, I don't actually notice anything. Well, I suppose every little bit helps, but still. Well, at least I know I can put it in a basic 
in a basic artifact container, and God knows I do have plenty of those, actually, so just do that when I get back to, um, to Yanov. Time being, oh, wait a minute. What the? Oh. Okay, another stash, apparently. <laughs> Bit of a tricky spot, I'll admit, but there you go. It's just a bedspread. Better than nothing, I guess. It was a bedspread. I think I looted that from someone else. Bed spread, which you can't even use. Well, there you go. And, so, and a cooked meal. Oh, dog chops. Well, better than nothing, I guess. So they have it. There's that. Finally explored. Wish I did that beforehand, but oh well. And apparently that Alun thing was probably part of some unmarked quest, most likely. The Alun quest, probably following a series of clues and then you end up at that stash, presumably. Well, whatever, in any case, get over to the Oak Pine Anomaly, hopefully drop down about... Okay, we took a bit of damage, but I suppose it's better than uh, dying, I guess. I think that damages your suit as well, actually. I'm not 100% sure. We should actually save it as well, now that I think of it. We'll get closer, actually, and then I'll save. I'll probably want to save sooner by the sounds of it. Oh, wait a minute. Is there... Ah, yep, there definitely is something there. Trotting around. It's like it owns the place. Now, let's see. If, actually, if I get on top of the rock, will that actually protect me? Damn it, get back here, you bastard. Whatever the hell you are. Huh. Well, the oak pot anomaly itself seems to be strangely uneventful for the time being. Yeah, it's well. Better save that. Was that thing that was running around though? It could have been a flesh, maybe? It was kind of hard to tell that distance, but still. Well, so the artifact is up there somewhere, and we have to get up there somehow, it seems. I don't even know if I'm approaching from a good direction, but uh, this is as good as any to start on. Damn it. Hmm. Oh, right. Down I go. <laughs> So, of course, there's probably only one direction that I can approach that thing from as well, actually. I'm surprised that no other stalker has actually got whatever artifact that is. Maybe it respawns, actually. Maybe it's just a special artifact that respawns up there for whatever reason. That's the uh, that's the story that I'm going with. Anyway, let's see. Taking that branch is a bit of a bust. What about... Well, let's see. Okay, I think... This one might work. It depends on how steeply I can actually climb these branches. D no. <laughs> oh, that actually didn't do much. Well, thank God for that. Alright, I think if I can just jump up this. There we go. Okay. Presumably we need to get to the tallest place. Uh, more freaking platforming. Why the hell? Well, whatever. I suppose it'll make me feel that much better when I actually get the artifact, but still. Platforming and first person stuff does not mix. Actually, I wonder if there's a way to change the camera to third person. Huh. Probably is some debug option to do that that I'm not, not aware of, but uh, in any case, let's just get up there. Fuck it. We'll try to do it to the uh, regular way before resulting before resorting to any uh, cheats or anything like that. Huh, okay, so yeah, this way seems to be on a level. I just have to make sure not to slip or anything like that, because apparently the branches are made from fucking ice. Well, I have to do good old crouch walk in that case. Go up these icy branches. Well, thank God no one's actually shooting at me. Because really, this would be the perfect place to get shot at. <laughs> okay, and... I think this branch here... This one up here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, probably time to get the detector out. Okay, and hopefully this is um it's pointing towards where the actual 
artifact is out. God damn it. I Okay, well, let's see. I actually know there are different ways up there, so I can actually just go around like this, I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Okay, no, never mind, that actually pointed to a different artifact. <laughs> Whoops. Huh, interesting. So, does it actually show up on the scanner in that case? It's meant to detect all freaking artifacts, for God's sake. Uh, Alright, well, try that again then. I suppose, yeah, if it was easy, then uh, technically the artifacts should be salvaged right now, so I suppose this is meant to be a testament to its found salvageability. <laughs> and yes, I'm calling that an actual word. Whoops. I don't even know if I'm actually supposed to be able to jump up that, but whatever, I'm going to do it anyway. So, here we go. Let me just go up like this. So, if we just maybe get to the tallest bit first, and then maybe see what happens. Maybe it doesn't actually spawn in until you get to the tallest point, maybe. That's the story I'm going with. So, we just go over like this, and then just maybe up there and see what happens. Damn it, don't get me to fall off, you bastard. And. Wait a minute. Can I. Ah, oh, damn it, I have to go for. Damn it, I have to approach it using a different direction, of course. Unless I can actually go this way. Kind of hard to tell, though, but I think. Shit, where is. Oh, no, wait, I think it's. Yep, it's working. Jesus. These fucking leaves are so obstructionist, but. Haha, <laughs> look at that. King of the mountain. Or king of the tree, in either case. And... Nothing has spawned, though. And I'm pretty sure that's the very... Very tallest bits. <laughs> okay, well, let's get the good old detector out there in that case and see what happens. So, yeah, locating all artifacts known to science. Huh. Interesting. Alright, well, let's see. So it's detecting that other one, but I don't see anything else. And this is maybe there's like a stash up here or something that I'm missing. Let's see. Don't see any uh, anything obvious when it comes to stashes. I'm pretty sure this artifact, other artifact that it's referring to is actually down. Yeah, it's way over there. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be the highest point, yep, I don't see any other trees there, and yeah, I mean, this is the highest bit I can see on the minimap as well when it comes to um, branches and all that on the uh, minimap. Huh. I think there's some mutants there as well, great. Wow, okay, that artifact is definitely moving around a bit to say, please, Jesus. <sighs> Damn it, why isn't it there for fuck's sake? There's only one that I can see on the scanner actually. What the hell? Ah, okay, it's a snork. Now yeah, I can snipe him from afar. <sighs> God damn it, don't tell me I have to look this up in the fucking forums. Come on, I made it to the fucking top. What more do you want from me? Fuck's sake. Yep, I knew it. Well, before I die, I just want to have another quick look around. I could just use the uh, bandage, actually. Probably going to be too late. Yeah, apparently we're good to go. Yeah, for fuck's sake, so... Where is... Yeah, here it is. Right, yep, down I go. Well, that was pretty disappointing, to say the least. Bam. Well, I'll do it one more time, but... Ugh. Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure I clicked on that, but anyway. There we go. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Maybe it was just meant to be a... Like a rumour or something like that that isn't actually uh, true, maybe? Uh, I mean, if, if so, that is actually pretty disappointing, because it is kind of tricky to get up there, actually. I mean, 
first person platforming is always tricky, so... And that is the highest point. So. And we did actually, I mean, if it is like a respawning artifact or something like that, I mean, we did have a blowout happen, so... What if I go this way? I don't think that'll work. Yeah, we had a blowout happening. No, that's not going to work at all. So it could have, or rather it should have respawned the artifact if it um, is that sort, which I don't think it is. It's probably more of a special type. Hmm. <sighs> really? Really, man? This was meant to maybe it's meant to be on an in a stash on one of these branches maybe not an actually uh, like free free floating or anything like like that like that's like an actual uh, regular artifact uh, God knows I don't know why anyone would actually stash stash it up here in that case but well just having a look actually I don't see anything too obvious and once again we're at the top. Apparently I've got a bit of a decent while before I get shot at, but yeah. And yeah, there's only one, and that one is, yeah, that's something that's far away. <sighs> really? So, came okay, all this way for fucking nothing. Well, I suppose I got the stuff from the gas station at the very least, because I knew exactly where it was meant to be. <laughs> uh, right. And yeah, the artifact is down there. If it was on this branch, it would be appearing by now, so... Uh, so disappointing. And yep, down I go. <laughs> now, whatever. Well, screw it, I think I'll just return and uh, see if I can just do the other stuff in the north in that case. And Well, I'll probably look it up on the forum at some point, but I don't think I'll bother going back to Zayton just to... Um... Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, I don't think I'll bother doing that just to get that artifact, unless if there's something really, really special about it, which is... Usually not the case, really. So whatever, let's just get over to... Oh, that's right, I forgot. Let's get, get over to the freaking old barge in that case. And uh, see if we can investigate this other crash site, since that's kind of necessary. I'm pretty sure you have to do all of that before you can progress to um, to Pripyat, so... Yeah, then, well, let's do that. How much time do we have remaining? Probably just enough time to do the helicopter mission, or probably have to end up sleeping over at um, the Skadovsk once again. Just can't get enough of that. Yeah, it's our fucking radiation. Probably going to be mercenaries or something like that, artifact hunting at the claw. Well, I suppose if there's anything good that could be said about that, it's the fact that I... Well, it doesn't mean I have two artifact containers, so... I suppose I can hunt around for artifacts. Huzzah. <laughs> I suppose. So yeah, I suppose we can do that, and that's not the way I want to go. What the hell is up with my weight? Oh, right. That artifact is incredibly heavy as well, so of course it's going to be so fucking specialised, I don't really want to use it if I'm around fire anomalies. Just freaking dandy. Well, nothing should get me from there, so... Well, actually, should I hunt around for artifacts there? The thing is, there's going to be a couple of opportunities to do that. I mean, there's the burnt farmstead, and there's of course the boiler anomaly, which I think I'd rather go for instead, so I can get some, hopefully a better flame artifact than what I've got um, currently, because I'm pretty sure you can get higher tier stuff that offers much, much, much more thermal protection as well as um, general uh, armor protection as well. But, uh, well, I suppose the anomaly was right there. Yeah, fuck it. No, that's right, there's also the circus anomaly. I wonder what um, special stuff is there. Probably only just a... Uh, Actually, I have to be careful here. There's usually guys wanting to shoot me around the old badge. But anyway, there's probably something special around the circus anomaly. I suppose we could try to investigate that too. See what happens. In any case, let's make our way quickly, hopefully, to the old badge. I'll probably get shot at when we get there. It's probably like a 
Must be like a regular path for bandits or mercenaries or something like that. It's probably mercenaries. I uh, did clear out loads of them, although they do continually respawn, I think. At least I think they're supposed to. Huh. No, we might actually make it without getting shot at. Uh, except for when um, Noah shoots the door open, of course. <laughs> Need to think. Come on, stamina just a little bit more. Yep. There we go. Oops. There we go.